Here we are. Um, this is a 450 AR Stoner 450 Bushmaster magazine. And uh, they work good for the Valkyrie. Um, they're going to work good for the 45 Velociraptor. Probably a 358 Yeti. Um, this is the 5 rounder. And when I got them, like, why is it 5 rounds? It should hold more. Well, if you look right here on each of the corners, they have they have it dimpled to stop the follower. So what I did, this is the second one I'll do, I'm going to do this and show you, but um, what I did was uh, took the mag apart. out the spring and the follower won't come out because of the notches but I've got my Dremel and uh, I just go in with the Dremel and take out the, the dimple And when you get it, they're, uh, they uh, they go through just a little bit when you get them thin enough to go through to uh, let the follower out. But now the follower will come out. But that will let the follower come down. Basically, it will come down that much farther. And uh, so now that I have that done, I just put her back together. And now it will hold seven rounds versus five rounds. And that took a couple minutes, minute, <laughs> not long at all. Okay, and then to make it work with these rounds, like I, I mainly got these to do the 45 Velociraptor. And once I had it, I'm like, well, man, it'll work for the Valkyrie more than likely. And so last weekend, I, I, uh, I loaded I, I loaded four rounds in at a time and it fed and cycled them just fine. Anyhow, because of the the size of the round compared to a 450 Bushmaster, um, what I had to do is you can see how the the rounds sit in there a little flatter. I mean, they'll depend on where you push on the flat, but um, they don't sit in there too bad. What I had to do was, and you can see right there, is I pinched the front of the feed lips together. And to do that, I just had my pliers, and I held the follower down, and then I just grab it, and I gave it a good squeeze. And you don't want to squeeze it too much. You want that follower to still, you know, move freely, but you need to get that follower just a little bit closer together so it holds the tip of the bullet down. Um, that's especially important when you're going to get up to seven rounds in it. Um, it, it has some power, and it starts tipping that out. I need to cycle test it um, at uh, seven rounds, but I'm sure it'll work just fine. But uh, there you have it. Like I say, you just take your uh, Dremel and sand off those little corners, those little divots that they put in there to limit it to five rounds. And you do that all the way around, all four spots, and uh, then you got a seven rounder. Hope this helps you guys. Again, you can probably use this setup. It'll work on 45 Velociraptor. Um, it's basically going to work on pretty much any 308 cases, uh, base ca Wildcats on the uh, AR-15, and uh, it'll single stack them. Um, the 358 Yeti that'll be coming out, it should work with that. I already know it works with the Velociraptor. I know it works with the uh, um, 7mm uh, Valkyrie, and I'm very certain it'll work with the... Uh, um, 257 Bobcat, and I may try it with the Lynx, although I want a little bit longer length and uh, than what these mags. These mags will handle about 2295, and uh, 
So there you have it.